Welcome to another episode of Island by Film. My name is Wes. Today I'm going to be reflecting on 2019 um, in a bunch of different ways. 2019 was a busy year for me personally. Um, I chose to start this YouTube channel and I think I'm at 18 episodes in and um, I very much have enjoyed uh, the process but it does take time and it is uh, taxing when you have a limited amount of time uh, in your life. Um, my, my day job is a general manager a, of a equipment dealership and um, I spend sometimes six days a week working with that and, and I have a, a wife and two girls and so, so to add this extra thing onto my plate is actually, um, it's a bit challenging, but um, it's something that I've kind of tried to make a priority. Obviously, I've got many priorities in my life and, and I'm not limited to just YouTube, obviously, because this doesn't pay the bills. But um, at the same time, it's something that um, I can uh, release a little bit of my stress, release a little bit of uh, creativity and that's something that uh, I find is necessary to manage a balance in my life. So um, this, today I'm uh, just sitting out here in a place called Sugarloaf Mountain. It's in Nanaimo. Uh, I looked at the weather forecast and there looked like to be a, a little bit of a break in the rain. Uh, I think the rain's supposed to start in about an hour or so and continue for probably four or five days. So uh, I thought this is my one opportunity uh, to post up a video and do something today. So today I'm going to be shooting uh, my Yashica Mat 124G again. Absolute favorite camera. I love this camera. Um, I'm going to be shooting the Yashica Mat 124G and I'm going to be shooting Street Pan 400. This is the first time I've ever shot this film. And I, uh, so I, I'm, I'm interested to see what the results are going to be. Um, I hear it's got really contrasty um, tones to it, and uh, the blacks are a little bit um, blocked out a bit. So, so I'm going to try and look for subjects that are um, geometric in shape. Uh, up on top of Sugarloaf Mountain here, there's some some really neat pooled reflections from the rain that's been sitting in these rock formations. So I'll see if I can take a couple of frames of that. And then I'm going to wander down to a place called Departure Bay Beach. Uh, probably one of my favorite spots in Nanaimo. I know I say that every time I shoot a video, but I can't get enough of this place. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. and. Um, and I think you would find so too if you had the opportunity to come and visit. So um, join me while I shoot this uh, roll of 12 exposures on the Yashica Mat 124G of a JCH uh, Street Pan 400. This is my first roll of Japan Camera Hunter Street Pen 400. And I have to say, one of the first things that I've noticed is that for a 400 speed film, the grain is actually quite fine. And that's something I didn't expect. Something I did expect was um, dark shadows. Uh, and that's exactly what I got here even straight from a regular scan with a very, very minor tweaking. Uh, this film is very contrasty. This first image is an image of a set of steps heading up a uh, sugar loaf. And I kind of liked how it curved and uh, kind of leads your eye up toward the top. Not really a special photograph, just one I took on this roll of film. The next image is of a lone tree. 
uh, kind of sticking out and overlooking Departure Bay and uh, just struck me. I liked uh, the lines. I figured that uh, shooting this scene against a bright background would lend itself to almost silhouetted branches, which uh, I think look kind of neat. This photograph um, is of a couple of boats, and I think probably the reason why the shadows on this one are so black is simply because I exposed for the boat. That's a rookie mistake. I should have actually exposed for the shadows either underneath the boat or in along the side of the fence on the right-hand side. But all in all, I still like it. It looks uh, pretty, pretty neat. This uh, photograph, and actually the next one after that as well too, is unique because these uh, tracks right here, if you were to look and follow them in the opposite direction, they lead to homes that are uh, right along the beach side. And uh, they used to have these set into the ocean so that they could actually uh, launch their boats uh, directly from their um, garages. So you can actually see across the road where these tracks kind of lead up into um, the people's homes. And so they're no longer in use. They're rusted and they're old, but um, I think it's kind of a neat uh, reminder of what uh, it used to be in the past in Departure Bay. This one here is the second angle. Um, I shot this one in F3.5, so it's quite shallow. Um, I just actually really like how sharp this uh, film uh, renders. Um, very, very little was done in post uh, with these photographs. This one was a an old, um, I don't know, milkman or service van of some kind. Um, once again, too, I made the same mistake. I exposed for the actual van itself versus exposing for the shadows. So it's hard to tell whether or not the latitude on this film is decent, but, but you can see um, everything in the shadows uh, are blacked right out. I actually don't mind the look of that at all. This uh, uh, photograph was just a, a stop sign and, and a couple of um, street signs as well, kind of uh, tucked away a little bit, hidden in this um, uh, in this foliage. And uh, yeah, I, I think it was neat. Uh, I thought it was unique simply because it's overgrown. I would imagine at some point they'll cut that back so that people can see the stop sign, but uh, it's a sleepy little street, so it doesn't really matter all that much. But at the same time, I thought that I uh, would take this photograph. This one right here, I really, really liked. In fact, I almost wish this was a color photograph because that GMC van on the left-hand side is, um, it was actually quite, uh, quite a nice color. It was a red kind of color. And so probably would have looked great in Kodak Ektar. Um, and then, and then all of these colorful signs they had in front of the house thought this photograph was begging to be taken for sure. This one right here, um, was neat as well too. Uh, just a small little hatchback car. I like the lines on the road and that little sign that's being overtaken by the vines and you can tell um, that uh, I've got a little bit of a shallower depth of field here as things kind of blur out in the background. But boy is this film sharp. Um, I can't get over how fine the grain is and how sharp the images are on this film. Um, I would even argue to say that this might be a little sharper than, than say, Triax. I mean, Triax is, is a lot more um, of a versatile film. You get a lot more of a flatter profile. So there's more you can do with the photographs after the fact, but I, I gotta say, I really like this black and white film. And this final image here is an image of some totem poles in the park right near um, Departure Bay Beach and um, totem poles in Nanaimo are absolutely beautiful and they are iconic in, in our area because um, you see native art all over the place and and so I needed to take one more photograph of this roll of film so I took this photograph and uh, this is what the results were so overall I would say that uh, street pan 400 film is a relatively fine grain sharp but maybe not the kind of latitude that you'd expect out of most black and white 400 films like HP5 or like Trix 400, but definitely a worthwhile option when it comes to 
um, shooting black and white film. I think I'll do this one again for sure. Um, one of the characteristics I quite liked about it is, even though it was a very cloudy, foggy, kind of dreary day and the light wasn't all that contrasty, it kind of makes it look like it was contrasty and the, and, and the uh, light was a lot brighter than it, than it actually was. But overall, I think the results were great. Please let me know what you think in the comments and uh, thanks again for watching Island by Film. I look forward to doing more videos in 2020. And once again, Happy New Year to everybody that's following me and thanks again.